This presentation is for online learning and educational purposes only. Opinions or points of view expressed in this presentation represent the view of the presenter and is not a substitute for professional advice. No copyright infringement intended. Open source and free to use backgrounds such as audios and images belongs to its rightful owners. Credits shall be given to the rightful owners. Welcome to my PRTG video sharing. In this video, our task is to download, install, and preset up PRTG from scratch. Our target output after watching this video. You must able to install and set up PRTG from scratch using the latest version installer from PRTG download site. Able to update or change some PRTG settings and sign into its web portal using default username and password. Download the latest version of PRTG from the Beesler website. If you have a previous PRTG version installed, there are several things you need to consider before you update to the newest PRTG version. While in most cases, your monitoring data and configuration are maintained when you update PRTG, we still recommend that you have a backup of both. Installing PRTG Network Monitor works like other Windows-based applications. To install PRTG, run the installation setup file that you downloaded. Enter your email address and click Next. Select Custom in Installation Mode. In here you can change the path if necessary. Click Next. Select Stop Auto Discovery. Click Next. Installation is now in progress, wait until finish. And we're done. PRTG is now installed on your system. This is the default repository folder of PRTG. You can change it anytime like when you're planning to separate it by storing in second disk or other storage server. To preset up our newly installed PRTG, we are going to use the PRTG administrator found in PRTG folder in program files. Let's create first its desktop shortcut as it's not created by default. Or, you can also start the PRTG administration tool from the Windows Start menu on the PRTG core server system, or on the remote probe system. For TCP port for PRTG web server settings, the default is unsecure HTTP server. Change it to either secure HTTPS server or use custom configuration. Here in our setup, let's use the custom configuration so we can add a web server port like 1234 in our HTTPS. In IP address for PRTG web server settings, Select all IP addresses available on this computer. In probe connection management settings, define how PRTG handles incoming connections from probes. Leave its default, accept connections from the local probe only. Please take note, that you cannot use remote probes on this selection. For local storage of data files and monitoring database settings, select the directory where PRTG stores configuration and monitoring data. However this time, let's just leave its default path. Click save and close. Click OK in dialog box to restart PRTG service. You can avoid the browser warnings if you use your own trusted SSL certificate with PRTG. When you log in for the first time, the login name and password for the predefined PRTG system administrator user account are both paired admin. PRTG automatically fills in the default credentials and shows the password in plain text. The welcome page displays various information about your PRTG installation and is similar to a dashboard. It keeps you informed about all sensors and alarms. 
And that's the end of my video sharing. Please like share and click subscribe to get new video updates. Thanks for watching, see you on my next videos.